Hi, Heather. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. How is your day going so far? It's good. I did a talk show this morning, so I'm feeling kind of fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> as one does so i have to say honestly you're one of my favorite actresses because you bring such a sense of like joy and calm to all your roles no matter who you're playing and i think that's just so uniquely you so thank you for that thank you that's a, an amazing compliment it makes me feel so good <laughs> so for those that don't know tell them about wandering a little about shelly Okay, so Wander is about um, Aaron Eckhart's character, Arthur Bresnik. He, he believes there's this massive conspiracy against him and you're not sure if he's gone insane or if it's really true. And I play his best friend, Shelly. I'm a attorney, I'm a former DA. I sort of knew him in his previous life before he started to become obsessed with this conspiracy stuff. And um, the movie's a thriller where you're not really sure who to trust and what mm. to believe. Right. So had you worked with Aaron before or how did you build that dynamic with him? You know, I just did a lot of preparation. I um, just created a lot of memories. I, I just did a lot of work by myself, even though of course I, I know Aaron's work and I'm a fan and I think he's so talented. Um, I just, on my own, created tons and tons of memories of us together in our, our history <laughs> as my oh. preparation. <laughs> so do you create backstories for your characters too? Is that part of your process? I mean, it's always been part of my process, but recently I started working with this acting coach. Her name's Warner Lachlan. And you basically come up with all these memories from like childhood to present day, and you really imagine them. And so it's almost like you've lived this whole life as this character. It's so fun. Like you have these like vivid memories of you as this character. Wow. So what were some of the memories that you came up with? Do you remember? Well, you know, in the story, his his wife is killed. So I just had this amazing, I just remember when they met and just that his wife is this amazing person. You don't know anything about her character, but in my mind, mm -hmm. I made that she was really stylish and that she would help me go shopping. <laughs> and that Arthur and I would work together on cases because he was, he was a cop and just how he was so hardworking and we would hang out and just have dinner together and watch movies. And his daughter in the story has this beautiful daughter and just watching him have a kid and just sort of like a brotherly sister you know dynamic I have a best friend like that where you know we're not we're just friends he feels like a brother to me Aww. and so tell me about your experience collaborating with April Mullen your director well, I love working with a female director and supporting mm -hmm. female directors she's really a lovely human and I think she really has a, a pretty powerful message she wants to get across in the movie and she was just really great to be around, just a very lovely human. She had a wonderful dog that she brought with her. He's actually in the movie. He plays Aaron's dog as April's dog. Oh my God. Uh, he loved her dog. And um, yeah, we shot in New Mexico. It's a beautiful, like desert, vast, empty space. And um, I think she has a cool eye for visual stuff. Yeah, for yeah, yeah. I was gonna say you last worked with Aisling Chin Yi for The Last of Us, I which know. was amazing. Yeah. yeah. Her. I mean, Canada has some good directors. Um, yes. and I think she just directed a new documentary. Um, mm -hmm. It's also good too. Mm -hmm. For sure. Yeah. So take me back to working with her in New Mexico. I know on independent films, you just always have to be on your feet. You have to improvise. You just have to, you build a really creative atmosphere. So what was that like for you? Well, um, we were shooting in the summer in the desert. So it was a hundred degrees <laughs> hotter. It was like the low was like a hundred degrees. Um, it was cold oh and hot and uh, it was just beautiful. We were shooting, I think it was only a few hours away from Georgia O'Keeffe where, where she lived and all those paintings. So, and it's also a very Breaking Bad, like it's where they also, yeah. areas where they shot Breaking Bad. So you kind of, it has that vibe, um, but she's very gentle. She'll come in and she'll just give you a suggestion and it's just very creative and she's incredibly respectful. And she's also very beautiful. So <laughs> it's hot. And a few times, like my outfit, we weren't sure. And she's like, we'll have my dress. Like she was wearing one day this like denim dress. We were doing a scene and um, we thought my outfit wasn't right. She's like, wear my dress. So she gave me her clothes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. She just took it off and gave it to me. Wow. <laughs> so I'm curious, take me back to the beginning. What drew you first to the script? Well, I just thought it was a good script. I like the idea that it was a conspiracy theory 
uh, story because I think conspiracy mm. theories are really interesting and just this idea that maybe things aren't what they seem or maybe not to believe sometimes the people in power aren't always telling the truth. I think that's a really interesting story. And it was it's very twisty and turny and you're not really sure who to believe and trust and my character as well. And I just wanted to work with all those great actors too. And, and it was fun to play a different type of character to play like a mm. lawyer and to play this just very kind of just smart, reasonable, solid, stable woman. And um, mm. yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say all the characters that you play are all very different from each other. You really disappear yeah. into different roles. Yeah. It's fun to just to do different things that you've never done before. And I felt like, you know, like, it's fun to be like a lawyer who's just so reasonable yeah. and together. And I think I'm very together in comparison to his character because he he really right. seems like a mess. <laughs> right. Yeah. But he knew some things, you know? I know, he knows things. He's smart. He's, you know, it's, I mean, I think there's sometimes always a germ of truth in a lot of these conspiracy, conspiracy theories. Are you a conspiracy theory person or no? Definitely not about everything, but yeah, there's a few things where I do believe it. I mean, I always am interested. I want to learn about them. Um, but yeah, there's a few that I do believe in. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of love online for your film that you directed and wrote. Is there more Aww. plans to do more of that? Yeah, I would love to. I mean, that was such a fun experience and I do feel like I addicted. I'm like, I really want to do it again. In fact, the producer of this movie, Wander, he just optioned my new script to um, produce and hopefully we'll make it sometime over the next year. And I also have a TV show idea that I'm going to pitch that I'm writing. So I'm really love being behind the camera and um, mm -hmm. well, both in front and behind. So be, I hope I get one of those projects to happen in 2021. Oh. So looking back at all the roles that you've done and they're all so different, is there one that stood out for you as that you're really proud of? Um, well, I think probably, I mean, well, I'm really proud to be in Boogie Nights. I'm really proud mm -hmm. to be in this movie Bowfinger with Steve Martin. It was just so fun. Mm -hmm. to work with them. I'm proud of the movie I directed, Half Magic, you know, because I just feel it was so exciting to just do something that you cared about. And um, I don't know, it's fun to be in big movies that uh, make a lot of money and that people still watch today. So I'm just, I'm grateful that I still get work and do something that I love. Super grateful for that. Is there a role that people just stop you on the street for still constantly? I mean, it depends on the type of person. Like definitely if guys, maybe like the hangover <laughs> or, you know, Austin Powers, a lot of people. Um, then Boogie Nights, more film people, people that are mm -hmm. kind of more into like arty film. Um, <laughs> but, you know, I'll get a random like license to drive person or, you know, sometimes people <laughs> will just remember sort of really more obscure things. And that's fun, too. <laughs> and so I really want to ask you, since it's the same network, tell me a little about the stand. Yeah, it's so fun to, well, both of these things that I made are coming out this month. So um, I can't wait to see it because um, I'm not in all the episodes, but I am in some really good, it, it's a really fun part and um, it's, it's Stephen King. So it feels so big. It just, and they had a lot of money. So it was fun shooting it. And um, yeah, I had a great time making it. I can't wait to see the episodes that I'm not in. Yeah, for sure. And you're also EPing the hypnotist love story. Tell me about that. Well, it's so great. I, I you know, I optioned a book by the writer Leanne Moriarty. I'm, I love her so much. She wrote Big Little Lies. She's brilliant. And so um, we're in the process of, um, I think, doing it as a as a, a UK Australian co-production. And we're finding a writer. And I don't know. I just love the book so much. It's just so fun to find material and try to make stories that you're passionate about. So send yeah. me some good luck for that. <laughs> <laughs> Sending the good luck. <laughs> for sure. And finally, what have you been reading or watching lately that you've been really into? Well, let's see. I liked um, that show Unorthodox. That was yes. so good. That was one of my early, you know, pandemic things that I was really into. And then I just finished watching The Crown which then made me go watch a Princess Diana uh, documentary. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. And I love stand-up comedy. I really like female stand-ups. Like, I, I really mm -hmm. like the Dope Queens, like their podcast, mm -hmm. and all the comedians they have on there. I, I've listened to every episode. It's really good. 
<laughs> but thank you so much for your time. Thank you for bringing so much joy to the screen. Oh, Truly, I appreciate you. that. I'm so glad you got that. I do want to, I hope, I do. I am trying to do that. So I'm so glad you got that. And thanks for having me on your show. And yeah, it's great thank you. you so much joy. And I really appreciate that. <laughs> thank you.